everybody. Today we have Lenovo Flex IdeaPad 514. It's an Intercore i7 11th gen laptop with graphics MX450. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can replace, fix or upgrade. Let's start. So we will start with the bottom screws. You need the T4 Torx screwdriver for this. Now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. Use plastic tool, otherwise you are risking scratching your parts. Once you find a gap, work your way around the edge to unhook all the clips. All right, the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. Now we have access to all the internal components, so start with disconnecting the battery. So we have to take out the battery, it's gonna be easier to disconnect it. Now pull out the battery and gently disconnect it from the motherboard. Here we have the model number. So if the battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. Now, here we can see our SSD drive, that's our storage. So if your laptop doesn't boot, it says no storage, no bootable device, or you would like to upgrade to the bigger one, that's how you can do it. So this is our actual drive. That's the M2 NVM NVMe SSD drive. Here we have our Wi-Fi. If it doesn't work, you can replace it. Gently disconnect the antenna wires and unscrew one screw and you can take it out. That's the M2 slot. Here we have the model number. So if you are looking for parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. Now we can take out our cooling, heat sink and the fan. So if the cooling doesn't work or the fan is making grinding noise, this is how we can replace it. Disconnect it from the motherboard. Here we have the part number for the heat sink and for the fan. Now let's take out our I.O. board and the motherboard. In order to do that, we have to unscrew the hinges. So let's do that first, because they cover those boards. So let's disconnect the video cable from the screen.
Okay, let's see if we can disconnect the screen. All right, so the screen is out. Now we have access to our boards. So let's take out the I.O. board. This board has our card reader and the USB ports and the power button. So if one of these doesn't work, you can replace this board. And here we have the part number. That's our board. So now let's take out our motherboard. So take out all the screws and disconnect the remaining connectors. I always close those retaining clips. They're very fragile. So if you break them, you won't be able to install it back. And this will be the speaker. Okay, and the motherboard is out. Here we have our processor and the graphics GPU. They both soldered on the motherboard, so if these don't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Here we have the part number for the motherboard. And here under that gel pad, that's our part number. Now we can take out our speakers. So if your sound is bad, you can replace speakers. Here we have the part number. And here you can see the keyboard is riveted to the palm rest. The touchpad is held by the screws. So if the touchpad doesn't work, you can replace just the touchpad. But if the keyboard doesn't work, you have to buy the whole keyboard palm rest assembly. Usually sold with the touchpad as well. So check gutlaptopparts.com. See parts. And here let's take apart the screen because it's usually sold in one piece, but this one has broken hinge. So we can sell the touch screen. So let's take off the bezel and now unscrew those screws on the bottom. So here we have the adhesive for the screen. You have to gently pull it out without breaking it. This is what's holding your screen in the back cover. Okay. And there's one on the other side. Okay, so now disconnect the video cable from the screen. Flip that retaining clip. Now we can pull out the connector. All right, that's our touch screen. And here we have the model number. 
So you can replace just the screen if you have to. Now we can access our video cable. So that's our video cable. Here we have the part number. And that's our back cover. Here we have the part number for the back cover. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.